It's Wind Funnel at Rapids, and uh, Ev Kamakawa is the guest because Ev is the hometown favorite here at Rapids. Uh, Rapids International Raceway rejoins the schedule for HO Champ Car mm -hmm. for the first time in six, six seasons. Six seasons. And the, the history of this track has been uh, one of uh, a lot of excitement, uh, a lot of, uh, I don't know if controversy is the right word, but... Uh, that's exactly is that a very, good word? That's a very right. good I word. I didn't want to be too strong word, about yeah. it. Now, and, and one of those, uh, one of the reasons for that, of course, is if you go back in the history of H.O. Champ Car, Dave Austin won the first two editions of this race. Right. And, uh, you know, anything tied to uh, Dave Austin is bound to be a suspect of some kind. Correct. Tell, tell us about the early versions of this racetrack everybody's going to see. Well, there early versions of this uh, racetrack, uh, Dave, is it's basically what you see now. It's kind of just a big horseshoe. And over the years, it's, it's just gotten... They moved it from being a, a street course to a purpose-built race facility that Longer, had shops and more complicated it, and more turns and through a park. eventually and because of the city there's council here at the, the Parks Department not wanting more trees cut down. And, and then eventually what happened... Um, Several years ago, as they were, uh, a movie company was filming a movie about a giant radioactive cat, and they wow. used Rapids, the town, uh, for the cat to rampage through. And what they didn't realize is that the they hit a gas line that, oh. that started a huge explosion, <laughs> and just the, the whole the whole racetrack, all the buildings that were built inside the racetrack to simulate a street course were burned down. Oh. And so Rapids decided instead to just go back to a regular street course. And uh, this is the area that it's in right now, and it's under a lot of economic development. And, you know, it'll be Terrific. different as uh, viewers see it from year to year. Well, we look forward to seeing it in the years uh, coming forward. Now, we have a race season that is uh, really uh, very competitive this season with uh, yourself, Dan Margetta, Jim Iverson, Mark Walzak, all fighting for that Hussars Build Cup. That's right. You have had some uh, stumbles here the last few races. What's going to happen coming back here to your home track? Well, coming back to the home track, we're, of course, excited. We've got the fans here. This is, of course, where we test now. And, you know, part of it was just during the beginning of the year, we weren't able to test. Now that we're able to test again, we're feeling a lot more confident and comfortable a, in a car. And, do you learn and, a lot uh, from the testing? You do learn a lot from the testing, quite frankly. That's it's, great. It's, the cars are a little bit different, of course, when you get to race night because it's not your test hack. But uh, you do get a chance to learn about the track itself, where the manhole covers are, how the road <laughs> are those, grounds. Are those uh, held down? I, I understand that uh, they usually have to... Uh, you know, uh, completely uh, not solder isn't the right yeah, word. No, but, uh, but these are riveted down. Riveted, really, yeah, yeah, so yeah. that you, they won't be flying up. You won't see any scenes from driven. Oh, good. Uh, coming through here. No, there will be no. Are there quarters here. spread yeah. out on the track that there, we could pick I up did that with the track. I did that. Yeah. And the goofy thing is, I got four quarters. I only threw three <laughs> out, and I got four. So I, I made money on the deal. Now, in addition to your being competitive here in this championship, your life has changed. You are a new dad uh, just a few months before the uh, the season started. Uh, that's right, just like the uh, tech crew that put this microphone on is br obviously brand new to that obviously. business as well. Uh, um, these people. I, I, I know some guys that can help out with that. Uh, okay. Tony Soprano? No. <laughs> um, yeah, being a dad is the, is the best. Um, and I know it's tough, and I know it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a long haul, but you know, it's so much fun. Uh, Hero is such a great kid. My wife is wonderful, and uh, I'm just enjoying being a dad. Are you hoping that, uh, that the kid follows in his dad's footsteps and someday is an HO Champ Car driver? If he does, I hope he's a lot better than I am. Oh, so that'd, that'd be hard to top. It, I just, uh, <laughs> if he's going to shoot for something, I want him to make sure he's got high goals and, and make sure that he oh, achieves it. Oh, thank you. Cookies, too. I lo we love the dinette here at the brand new uh, Rapids. Catering service is awesome. As Absolutely. You see, you there's, there's a lot of great so. seating here. So next year, make sure you get your tickets to the uh, Rapids International Raceway. And we are here for the WisconsinJobs.com Grand Prix. A little Chris Economaki here at Rapids International Raceway for this week's round, round number 11, uh, WisconsinJobs.com Grand Prix. And uh, Little Lee, we've got a, a new track this week, looking pretty fast so far. Nice, uh, tight city circuit. What do you think? Yeah, well, I got lost. They had to give me a map. Uh, it's still, I, I couldn't find where to park my car. Parking is, is hard. Uh, haulers were told to stay outside the city limits this week. Uh, let's bring in our third co correspondent, uh, Dan Margetta. Dan, what do you got to say about this? Dan speechless. I don't know. We've got uh, tight points battles shaping up here between four drivers, Jim Iverson, Mark Walzak, Dan Margetta, and Ev Kamakawa. Uh, six races to go. How do you see this playing out? Well, oh, there's six left. I thought there was only like ten left. Oh, I, I think uh, I think the guy who's going to be in front is going to be the guy who wins. 
I, I'm confused. Very good way to put it. Dan, your point. Dan again, speechless. Wait, wait a minute. Wait. Dan, Dan, Tommy Kendall, here you are. That guy's an imposter. We got an imposter. Wait a minute. Is that Al Jr. guy in trouble again? Hey, he's trying to hey. prison. I, 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 wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Hey, hey, wait, where has this guy been? I know that guy. He, he was on, he was on lockup. He was on lockup with me last week. I know that guy. <laughs> no, that wasn't me. It's uh, one of them impersonator type dudes. <laughs> A six year hiatus, the series, the HL Champ Car World Series, returns to the streets of Rapids and Rapids International Raceway for the WisconsinJobs.com Grand Prix. There's your pole sitter, it's Larry Rodder. El Gato is back on the street. He's on the pole in car number four. Alongside of him, that's the RJ Foyt car of Mike Fitzlaw. Hey, look at all these dang blue, red and, red and white cars. That's Tom Spirit, the red and white car. And next to him, that's another red and white car. It's Mark Waldeg. Too many red and white cars. Back here's the hindsight car, the fast hindsight car tonight. That's the number three car of Mike Kristoff. And alongside of him, it's Woo. Dean Strong. Can he make two finals in a row? Oh my god. And dang it, there's more dang red and white cars. There's that's F Kamakawa in a red and white car, and that's Jim Irishton in a red and white car. This is a yellow car, the only one on the circuit. It stands out and it's pretty fast when it shows up. That's John Shane, the number 10. Dan Margetta, a nightmare in qualifying back here in car seven. Hey, is little Al in this race? I hope he is. Well, that might be him there. No, wait, no, that's Andy Spirit. And uh, that's a, the last red and white car, but that's yellow. That's Chris Spear, too. And completing the Butler Runner sandwich on the field tonight. This is Amy Butler in the car 14. <laughs> Number one, ready to roll. Hometown favorite, Ev Kamakawa in the red-white on the inside lane there. Mark Walzak, Chris Spirit, and your pole sitter, Larry Rotter. It's Ev Kamakawa leading the first lap through the streets of Rapids. As we come down through the start-finish line, Ev has quite the lead now. And John Derek Daly, what is the challenge going around the uh, you know these concrete canyons? Well, there's several unique challenges to a street circuit, one of which, of course, is there's bumps. Now this track is recently repaved, so not so bumpy, but there is one big bump in Green Lane, and Ev Kamakawa is doing a great job right now dealing with that. Another thing you have to deal with, of course, are sight lines. The racetrack walls are right up against the circuit, so a lot of times you're going to go into a corner and you are not going to be able to see what's around the bend. Not a very good way to approach an apex, but that's what we have to do when we're racing on a street circuit. So it's about a two lap lead now for Ev Kamakawa here leading the first heat race of the Wisconsin Jobs.com Grand Prix. His first home race in six seasons. It's good to be back here at Rapids. And it's good to introduce Kitty Bo Peep to Rapids. Kitty, what do you think of this racetrack here in the middle of town? Oh, hi. Kitty Bo Peep here. And, you know, I love this racetrack, but I'm looking for Macy's. I don't see Macy's. 7th Avenue, I don't see that. I see a sweet shop, and, of course, Kitty is sweet on sweets. But there could really be a little bit more feminine influence here. What, uh, so you're looking for uh, maybe uh, Victoria's Secret? What, uh, what kind of shopping are you looking for? Oh, well, I don't know about Victoria's Secret. I really liked, um, oh, what was that, Hollywood Store? Oh, Kitty, I think we found some of your fans have put up a sign to you right there. Oh, on the hello, Kitty's up here. Hello. Oh, yes. Well, you know, a Victoria's Secret would be just fine. A shoe store, perhaps. I saw an Allen Edmonds, but that's, that's you know. Is it really? No, that's not women's. I would really like to see a Sephora, store maybe? with some stilettos. <laughs> nice long boulevards. This town is perfectly laid out for a racetrack. Is there going to be enough time left for Larry to make up the difference? Is Ev holds it off, and there you go. Ev Kamakawa wins the first heat race and makes the final. Second heat race ready to roll off. Amy Butler, Jim Iverson, Mike Fitzloff, 
And the early lead already belongs to Mike Fitzloff out front of Jim Iverson. On a spin for Fitzloff puts Iverson out front. Mike Fitzloff is running second, has been challenging uh, uh, Iverson throughout this heat. And we understand that uh, by a satellite hookup and a special uh, television feed, we've got race team owner R.J. Foyt watching this from Miami. R.J., are you down at the uh, for the Super Bowl? Yeah, I'm, I'm here out here to root, to root on. Uh, uh, I ain't sure who I'm rooting for, but I'm here to have a good time. Who uh, who have you seen? What kind of celebrities are around? I was talking to uh, Jim McMahon for a while and. Uh, Gary Coleman was with me, with me for a while. I had a couple of beers with him and uh, 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 just a lot of Shaq. I, I saw Shaq for about five minutes, but I didn't, I didn't see him. I didn't really talk to him. Well, that's amazing that uh, you know you are hanging out with some of the major celebrities of this Super Bowl weekend. Uh, what do you think of what's happening with your driver here in this second heat race? Well, I'm sure these PKVHO guys. I'm sure they're finding a way to cheat because I notice every time they race, they cheat to win, and they're going to put my guy on the wall. So I told them. I told them. I told them. If he's got to kill Jim Iverson on the racetrack, then he's got to do it, and that's where it's got to be. All right. There's, there's your third place driver. You can see she's working very hard on winning this heat race, Dan Tommy Kendall. Oh yeah, the determination. You can see it right there. It's the mark of a champion right there. That's that's winning. With the killer look in the eye. I think that's the key. Oh, yeah. That's it. You can tell right there. There. Look. That nothing is going to shake that girl. Slightly dazed look is uh, clear. Oh yeah, she's <laughs> great. She almost took out one of the contenders here as we watch the second heat race. Tail end of the lead lap now for Mike Fitzloff. He's starting to track Jim Iverson down. This could have big implications in the point races. Oh, there's a crash. That'll put Iverson back up by a lap. The time might be running out. In the meantime, the traffic is getting uh, in the midst of this battle as well. Four, we have four heat races in this uh, this event here at the WisconsinJobs.com Grand Prix. We ran four cars in the first heat and then three for the next three heats with only the winners of each heat advancing to the finals. And while Iverson holds on to the lead, doesn't look like Fitzloff was able to close in too tightly and Iverson wins and he sweated that one big time. And Butler managed to not completely embarrass herself, I think. Well, maybe she did embarrass herself, I don't know. All right, third heat race set to go. John Shea, Mike, Christoph, Tom Spirit. John Shea in the yellow car, Tom Spirit in the red car, Mike Christoph in the blue car. There they go. Down the big straightaway, out of the hairpin turn, and the leader of the first lap will be John Shea. But the other two cars are close behind. It's actually a pretty good race here as John Shea leads Mike Christoph and Tom Spirit early on. Shea continues the lead down the straightaway. And through the corner, Spirit has dropped off as he had a problem. But Kristoff is taking it to John Shea. Look at Mike Kristoff. This is a, a, a real good run here. John Shea shows up and wins pretty much every time he comes to the racetrack. But Mike Kristoff is hanging with him. And he still has not gone off. No, he did, but so did John Shea. And they're going to be back together. Oh, they crashed. Normally, this segment of the show, we bring in our esteemed broadcasting partner, Kitty Bo Peep, with the gossip column. And normally it's just one person, but today... There's going to be a group of them. What do we got here, Kitty? Well, you know, when men are standing in threes, it always reminds me of Larry, Moe, and Curly. And we have got the three stooges over there, if I haven't seen. Oh, my God. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> which one is which? Well, I would have to say that the gray fox is the brains behind the group. And that was always Moe. And uh, either one of them could be Larry and Curly. It, it, I don't think it really matters. But isn't isn't this Larry right here? Oh, that's Larry. That's that's Larry. Larry oh, Larry couldn't be a stooge. He just doesn't have stooginess to him. Interesting to see how. The return of the series to the Streets of Rapid brings out the celebrities in full force. They're seen all throughout the crowd, having a grand old time, a great time here in Rapids. We've kind of found some of them by just scanning through the crowd right there. And, and there you see from the famed TV show, you may remember him in the like 70s, it was a very popular show. It talked about a three-hour tour. 
and the weather started getting kind of rough, and the guy that piloted the boat was right there. That's the skipper, Alan Hale, folks, right here at the racetrack. I'm not sure if he brought Gilligan along, but uh, Kitty, you saw him out there before. Is he having a good time? Look at him. He looks like he's really getting into this race. Oh, just sit right back, and you'll hear it too. The race is over. John Shea will win. He'll join F. Kamakawa in the, and Larry Rodder, I think, in the uh, final. Mike Kristoff second. Tom Spear third. Heat race number four coming up. Fourth and final heat race ready to roll. Dan Margetta, Dean Strom, and Andy Spear. And it's all blue cars this time. Hey, this is a change. And the early lead is for Dean Strom. Oh, sorry, that's Andy. See, I can't identify the blue cars now. It's a, it's a new wave. Those cars are all blue. After all the complaints about red cars, now we get a whole race full of blue cars. And here comes Dean Strom to challenge Andy Spirit. Andy Spirit made the final at the Turkey Trot. That was a huge. Dan continues to struggle. So there's a big spin for Dean Strom. No, that was Andy Spirit. After such a smooth heat race in heat number three, where we saw very little uh, crashing, now this one, where it's just a mess. Everett Bell, what's happening to these drivers? Well, you know, I think part of the problem here, John Y, is the fact that these drivers had to wait a lot longer. Normally, there's been three heat races. This is the fourth heat race, so therefore these drivers, they, you know, the adrenaline left them after the qualifying. They had to wait around and wait around and wait around. They got hot, they got cold. Yeah, it's just, it's, the rhythm is all messed up. They'll be fine come the second half. Dean Strom continues to hold on to the lead here at the final heat race. But in the meantime, Dan Margetta has been closing in. He's about a lap and a half back. Dan needs to win this heat race to make the final and keep the pressure on Jim Iverson for this points race for the Hussars Built Cup. We're also going to see hometown favorite Ev Kamakawa in the final along with his teammate, John Shea. John with a remarkable winning percentage here uh, this season, winning just about every race he shows up for. With about a minute left, and they both both leaders spin. And they both both leaders spin. Could be a close finish as Dean Strom holding off Dan Margetta. Of course, he's put an X on Dan's back all through this season, calling him out early. Time is running down, and Dan Margetta is closing in. This is the distance on the track, and there's a spin. And Marquetta throws it away. And there's how it finishes as Dan Marquetta loses to Dean Strom. Hi, Oak. <laughs> Kitty Bo Peep here with Dean Strom. Dean, another great finish. So happy to see you in the final race. Were you finally getting it together this season? I figured out, Kitty, this stuff is pretty easy. You're just in it so you can be interviewed by the kitty. Yeah, you're on to me. You're gonna, you're gonna make me blush. Oh well, of course we all love Champ Car, don't we? So, what is your strategy in this final race? I'm gonna win. Oh, you heard it here. Put your money down. Oh, not that we encourage betting, cause we don't. You know, can we, well, I got the mic. Can I? Can I say something? Oh, please. Well, you know. As you know, the uh, MyJet Conquest team that I run for, sponsored by Walmart and Tide, we're, a, uh, we're development drivers for the PKVHO team. And, well, I heard a lot of scuttlebutt going around the, uh, the pit area that there was some, some talk that uh, Mark Walczak, who hasn't made a final in the last two weeks, and I have, uh, that he would be uh, replaced as a second driver at PKVHO. It's just a rumor. It's just a rumor. And I want to be the first to tell you that it's absolutely true. <laughs> I will be in the second seat of PKVHO. Mark Walczak will be a test driver. You don't. Well, oh my God, you've heard it here. Oh, well, congratulations. Thanks, Kitty. Uh, Kitty, uh, Kitty is not often speechless, but Kitty is speechless. Now, how is Mark Walczak going to take that? Oh, won't we wait and see? Oh, you have to wait and see. Hi, Kitty Bo Peep here. Well, Jim, good to see you in a final race, but hey, let's get Hi, down Kitty. to the nitty gritty. So, Dean Strom has replaced Mark Walczak in the driver's seat. 
What's he talking? Where did you hear that? Oh, now, Jim, you don't need to play coy with me. Jim, it's Kitty. You can tell me. You know, Dean Strom, he's a hot young driver, but he's nuts. I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> oh, well, he claims that now Mark Walzak is the test driver. No, no, they're, they're all, you know, I, I've got no idea what's going on between Walzak and him. They're both fiery characters. They both like to trash talk a lot. I try to stay above that. Oh, I'm well, sure it's all Jim, remember? Uh, well, you are a respectful man, that is for sure. But I'm not sure I'm believing all of what you're saying, and we're going to have to wait and see. Jim, good luck in that final race. Hey, these guys are in the final, too. There's two. Who, 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 who are you guys? Hold on, hold on a second. Kitty does our interviews. Yeah. All right. So why don't you go and uh, do whatever you do besides this. Thank you. Well, hello, gentlemen. Hi, Kitty. Yeah. Oh, congratulations being in the final race. It's so good to see the two of you again. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. All right. Good. John needs some loving, too. Oh, John, of course. John. Okay. Now, gentlemen, tell me what the strategy is. Is it going to be more difficult with the both of you in the final race? Or is it every man for himself? Just don't wreck each other. It's always been our team credo. Don't wreck each other. All right, well, that's that's good. Don't beat each other up, okay? You know, play, the, uh, play nice on the playground. We had the pink lady drinks over at the Hello Kitty uh, Hello Kitty Club. Oh, has Kitty had pink lady drinks? Of course. Kitty's that's what had. it's called. It's pink lady. Oh, pink lady. Yeah, it's lem pink lemonade and vodka, gin mixed together. Oh, well, Kitty is nothing but a lady. On the, men on the menu, on the drinks menu, they named it after you. Oh, well, that's super. You really do need to keep. Stop interrupting Kitty, though. You know. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, well, we will let you go this He's time. Not really sorry. So I wish you. <laughs> oh, the naughty, <laughs> naughty. Well, John, good luck in All this right, final I'll, race. Hey, I'll see you in victory best line. of luck to you, I'll see John. You again. Oh, Kitty loves these two. Not, not the best uniforms, but you know they're fun to interview. <laughs> Let's go. It's the WisconsinJobs.com Grand Prix rolling off. You've met the drivers, and we are rolling. Hometown favorite Ev Kamikawa once again pulls out a big lead, even over his own teammate, second place Dean Strom. And we haven't seen too many hometown favorites win this season. We saw Jim Iverson win at his home track. But we did not see uh, what we expected to see, which was Larry Rotter win at his home track. That is the mark of a grizzled driver having spent a long day in the cockpit of one of these rockets that are HO Champ Car. But ultimately, this is where you wind up. And you know what they say, if you, if you can't get help at Charter, get help somewhere. Here we go with third place into the pits, PKVHO. Well, he coasted in there. I, I can't... It looks like they're, they're, oh man, they're, they're pulling the back of the car off. What's going on here? I can't believe it. I think he broke something. I think he blew it up. And they're trying to tell him, they're telling him to get out of the car. He's, well, he's getting out, he's unstrapping. I can't believe it. That's too bad for that guy. He was doing so good. Oh, Jim Iverson's car is dead in the pits. He's out of the race. All right, Ev's back. Ev is back out front. He caught him down. Back, the teammates are going to race each other. We started talking about this little, oh! A huge crash for John Shea. He tumbled down the front straight away after contact with the teammate. That's going to be a long ride home in the team's holler. Those two guys have got something to settle there. They were fighting for the lead. We talked about racing, teammates racing each other. That's what happens. They touched wheels, and Shea was on his lid. Here comes John Shea. He's there. He can see him. He, oh, he went by and Kamakawa lifted. He let him go by. He's playing with him. And then he crashed. That's what happened. Racing dumb move number three. Don't play with the guy in second place and let him catch up because he'll crash you to win. It happens every time. Oh, but Shea goes off. He just did a Kamakawa impersonation in the hairpin turn. They both crash. It's very, very sloppy here at the Rapids, but it's exciting. The fans love it. Team orders are getting called over there. Are there team orders? They can't be team orders. Not at the Rapids. I think it's a, the Rapids Common Council wrote in their municipal code, there will be no team orders. It is against the law. Team orders, or, they, they get you a trip to the jail with 30 seconds to go. There are no team orders. It's Kamakawa leading Shea. 
Team orders Patui. That ain't happening here. No way. <laughs> here comes Jay. He got him. They're side by side. The time is this is going to be quicker than the one we saw at Raven. The possibly the best finish ever in series history is coming down between teammates Kamakawa and Shay. The time, Strom just stopped. He's going to watch. He's not even racing anymore. He's got to see this. This is history yeah, being made. Yeah. There it was. Who is leading? Ev is ahead of John. I think Ev Kamakawa won. Kamakawa, the hometown guy, won. Kamakawa beat Shea in a thriller here at the Rapids. What a return to this town. This town is back on the map, folks. Kamakawa, what's it like to feel like to win on your home track? Uh, it's just absolutely exciting. I got to thank uh, God, my wife, my son, uh, my parents, the other drivers in the league, my teammate. Uh, for driving a heck of a race and for our sponsor uh, Brian and everyone at WisconsinJobs.com the WisconsinJobs.com team we uh, you might say we ate everybody's lunch today and matter of fact we served it up with a side order of fava beans and Chianti <laughs> now in your own language yeah. English is our own language <laughs> Excellent job, John.